biggest Tesla stock catalyst has just begun. Elon Musk says Tesla stock is a buying opportunity and Tesla stock is under attack. This and a lot more on today's episode of what happened to Tesla stock this week. Dan I says he is a Super Bowl still and he says that there is a discount to Tesla stock. We'll dig into that as well today. Tesla stock also rallied up 8% in one single day. We'll talk about that as well. Kelly Blue Book said that Tesla's demand plummeted. What? How is that even possible? Tesla is achieving record deliveries of all time. We'll go for that quickly. This week, Tesla did reach a new one year low of Tesla stock price, which really scared a lot of Tesla stock investors. I see many selling their Tesla stock. We have a few things that look very good for Tesla stock. We'll go through those as well. We have new information of where Tesla's factory could potentially be, which turns out it could be in South Korea. Troy increases estimates for deliveries. However, he also anticipates something that we, that we do not want to hear about. We'll go through that quickly. Uh, James Daum of the AI expert says that Tesla is also a buying opportunity. We have many new charts that say that Tesla is also a buying opportunity. We'll go through some of these charts. Then we have uh, analyst consensus at $310 that Tesla stock will be at $310 in one year. Warren Buffett sold BYD again to possibly buy Tesla stock. We have one new reason why we think that Buffett might be buying Tesla stock. And then why didn't Tesla stock, why didn't it jump after the wide release of full self-driving beta? Also, I finally have gotten my full self-driving beta and I am more bullish now than before. Tesla is currently under vicious attack. We'll go for that and we'll quickly go over the Tesla Enrichment Act. So let's start and let's dive in. We'll start with Dan Ives saying there is a discount to Tesla stock. He didn't mean it in a negative way, short term, but long term, he, is a, he said, quote, I am a Super Bowl, meaning for Tesla stock. He said there is a lot more pain to come possibly because of Twitter. Here's one investigation. Here is another one. And here's another one. These are separate investigations, by the way. And he believes likely this is all happening because of Twitter. And it doesn't end just here. And if that was not enough for you, how about one more? Senator says Twitter needs to be investigated. Then I said that because of the Twitter overhang, institutional investors do not want to invest in Tesla stock right now. He said when Tesla gets to 2 million vehicles per year, that's where we could see quite a big uh, shift in sentiment possibly. Because then the scale of Tesla changes according to him. Kelly Blue Book says Tesla's demand plummeted, but then... They say that Tesla Model 3 is a number three model, <laughs> coincidentally, considered. And there is no Model Y here. But here is the thing. These are 25 best-selling cars in USA so far. Tesla Model 3 is number 16 in the US right now. And Tesla Model Y is, guess what? It's number 13. The numbers, they speak for themselves. How can you say... Tesla Model Y is not in your top 10 list when you say Model 3 is. Model Y sells more units than Model 3. Tesla reached a new one year low. And for those who are curious about what is my professional opinion, how Tesla stock looks, this is my personal assessment. This is how attractive Tesla stock looked that day. That specific day, all of the Chinese, basically, um, 
automakers were down significantly. Xpeng, for example, was down 7.7% in just one day. It happened for mostly two reasons. There were many more, but two reasons. It was because of more concerns in China because of potential shutdowns. And this has two big implications, two big reasons to drive a stock down. Number one, that crushes demand in China for vehicles. And number two, you shut down production. It's a double whammy. And we had some concerns in China for Tesla as well in terms of demand. So that drove the stock down. Since Elon closed the Twitter deal, Tesla went down 24% while NASDAQ 100 was up 2.5%. Gary, of course, is still a strong supporter of Tesla stock buybacks. You may pause the video here to see how that would work. And share buybacks, it's a decision to be made by the board and not by this cat. When Tesla stock reached a new low this week, I made this video. We need to talk about Tesla stock. The thumbnail said, scared? If you indeed are scared, that video is a good video to watch. Of course, not financial advice, but I just give you my thoughts on how I process all of this. I understand that many of you cannot buy more Tesla stock like I can, but that is perhaps one of the best ways to combat this. Make more money if you are not retired. But remember, Tesla stock went through very hard times before. Morgan Stanley in 2019, 2019, early 2019 was, by the way, when I invested in Tesla stock. And then I saw this report come out. Tesla stock was down about 50%. And Morgan Stanley said, split adjusted, that Tesla stock perhaps was going down to 67-ish cents. Whoa. And of course, we know how that turned out. Tesla stock is not at 67 cents. These things look really good for Tesla stock. Here's Elon saying that Twitter reached another new daily active user all-time high. They said this one time was because of elections. Then they said it was because of FTX. What are we going to say next? There's always something interesting happening in the world. I believe, and by the way, Elon tweeted, I think I see a path to Twitter exceeding a billion monthly users in 12 to 18 months. Right now, Twitter is about at about 250. This was in response to Jordan Peterson. Morgan Stanley then says that Tesla stock is a value opportunity emerging, meaning buy Tesla stock. This is very different from 2019 where Morgan Stanley said maybe 67, 67 cents per share. A full breakdown is in this video of that report. I think I was the first one on YouTube to break uh, this story. South Korea is one of the top picks for a factory for Tesla. And it sort of makes sense. South Korea is number seven in terms of the size of its car market. And the tariffs for Chinese-made cars to be sold in South Korea are so big it makes no sense to do that. So currently Tesla makes cars in Fremont, California and then ships those to South Korea. Also South Korea has a trade agreement with India which could be a backdoor to enter that market as well. Full breakdown and explanation is in this video. Troy, who provides the most reliable data for estimated, estimated uh, deliveries, increases estimate by 5,000 vehicles to 420,000. That's the good news. However, the bad news is he expects a price cut. That increase in deliveries expects a price cut. If there's no price cut, he expects less deliveries. Troy retweeted that video and... He said it was a good summary, so you should watch it. After Tesla stock reached that new, new all-time low of one year, 
Tesla stock rallied 8% higher in one single day, which was welcomed by many Tesla stock investors. This happened for a few reasons. One of those is that Stan Morgan Stanley report that I showed you. Another big one is a city analyst upgraded his rating on Tesla stock from a sell to now neutral. And he believes that Tesla next year, if you if a price of a stock does not change at all, that next year Tesla's PE basically would be 30 because earnings would keep increasing. That assumes that the Tesla stock price stays the same. The AI expert James Damas said that Tesla stock is a buying opportunity. Then Dave Lee asked him, what do you make of this Twitter noise and Tesla stock being down? Uh, you may watch this video. It's a pretty good, he had some very good points. The single biggest thing that Tesla has going for it, I believe is full self-driving and this week, Tesla achieved one of the biggest milestones, and that is the release of full self driving beta to anyone who wants it. Brett Vinton from ARK Invest says Robot Taxi could turn out to be the most meaningful economic productivity delivering innovation of all time by multiples. If and as it scales, the technology unlocks massive capital utilization and labor efficiency improvements. It could be an innovation without precedent. According to 29 Wall Street analysts and to their consensus, Tesla stock will or should be at $310.27 12 months for now, from now. I also purchased their Ultima subscription, which is their most expensive one. And I went through all of the, uh, or most of the Tesla stock analysts showing you the data that you could not have seen otherwise and which analysts you should really pay attention to and which ones hmm, you can safely ignore. The video was quite interesting. There is only one bear that you should actually seriously consider, which I don't think many people really talk about him at all. Um, I go up through that in this video. Buffett has sold BYD stock again to possibly buy Tesla stock. Buffett has been selling BYD stock for months now. One new reason to consider why Buffett might be selling BYD to specifically buy Tesla stock. You look at net profit per vehicle sold. This includes for BYD, this includes hybrids, by the way. If someone has specific profit numbers, how much BYD makes per every EV sold? In other words, how much perhaps they lose, especially when we take out government subsidies. If anyone has those numbers, leave a comment below. I'd like to see those. But you look just at the numbers that they provide. BYD makes $1,190 per every car sold. Tesla makes almost $10 thousand and everyone is thinking that a recession is coming Elon Musk thinks it's inevitable BYD basically could not lower prices much otherwise they would lose a ton of money and Tesla can lower its prices by a lot and still be fine so maybe Buffett believes there's a recession coming and he doesn't believe strongly that BYD can go through the recession just like Tesla could do that easily maybe BYD is not that good is perhaps what Warren Buffett is thinking. Then Tesla is under attack. Patrick here says that Tesla is not a car company and we like to hear that but what he means is Tesla is a company that has to make cars in order to sell its real product emissions <laughs> credits. Uh, this was actually a good read. It was so funny to read. This was very entertaining. I highly recommend it. Patrick, after all, is a science fiction writer. He, he, the thread was pretty well written for entertainment if you are reading it as, enter, as entertainment only. I mean, read this and try not to laugh. It's entirely possible the plan in Elon's mind was to use the emissions credits to get the legacy manufacturers to pay him for their own <laughs> extinction. This is, in a way, true that those legacy automakers were paying Tesla 
for the emissions credits. While Tesla took over the whole EV market, I mean, they could have done it. Why they would not just not make EVs is beyond reason when you really think about it. So Patrick does have a, a point there, but a lot of his other points. Uh, and of course, Elon didn't have his evil plan. I mean, the whole point of Tesla is to make everyone else basically start making EVs. The full breakdown of this attack will be in the link down below, which is in this video. I assume most of you have seen this already. Elon explaining in 20 minutes the buying opportunity for Tesla stock. He used a lot of charts. This is from earlier this year. Uh, and he said on record, when Tesla stock is down, view that as a buying opportunity. Uh, you can watch this video if you like to hear that specifically. But he showed a lot of charts, which were very good. This is one of my favorite ones. Vehicle fleet size growing exponentially, and it's like super clean. Then I analyzed the Tesla Enrichment Act, which is the Inflation Reduction Act in the United States, which gives Tesla huge EV incentives, at least for people that buy them. $7,500 per one vehicle. You may pause and read this summary here. Or if you are more visual, you may read uh, this. Uh, my face here is not hiding anything important, by the way. Full breakdown is going to be in this video. And then we have something like more than 20, maybe 30, maybe even more charts, which I think when many people look at them, they just can't help but buy Tesla stock. Here's one of my favorite ones. You can see Tesla's revenue growing very fast while the operating expenses barely growing. I mean, the revenue almost went up eight times and the operating expenses not even doubled. Here's Tesla's net income growth compared to other big companies. Tesla, of course, does not spend any money on advertising. And perhaps the funniest moment from that video, Elon Musk saying Tesla stock is a buying opportunity. He showed this chart there during Super Bowl. All of the automakers, they spend a lot of money on advertising their EVs. And that particular day, Tesla saw its orders spike. <laughs> so literally, other automakers are paying for Tesla's advertising. Here's another one that I love. Widest gaps to price targets. Tesla has 80% to catch up to the median price target of $302 from where it is right now. I mean... Tell me, how does this not look like a buying opportunity to you? Here's why Tesla insurance will completely obliterate any competition. And of course, you know I'm a conservative investor and this is my favorite chart. You can see in red here the projected earnings per share for next year increasing as the stock price is decreasing. This is not normal. So usually this is supposed to happen, but this is an anomaly. Tesla also has best-in-class return on invested capital. Tesla is at a solid 29% return compared to BMW and Mercedes at 18 and 14% only. Now, this sounds almost as good as Tesla stock. So when Tesla reached the new low, it looked like this. But now the Tesla stock going up 8% up in one day it looks a little bit more appropriate but still incredibly attractive i got my fsd beta and i'm more bullish now full explanation is going to be right here and if you don't want to watch this one which you should watch it then watch this video we need to talk about tesla stock my name is Matt Postis, reporting to you from Vancouver City, Canada. One more big announcement. I just made a new channel, Matt Postis Productions, on Tesla stock and money, where I will provide daily summarized updates on Tesla stock. Just one video a day, concise summary of everything. Just sort of how I did this whole week in this one video. The link to it will be down below in the pinned comment and in the description. Subscribe. Thank you.